All right, so in this video today, I'm going to show you how to measure a brake rotor for its thickness and its parallelism, which is also known as thickness variation. Now you can do this on the vehicle after you remove the wheel, uh, but you'll probably have to take the caliper off because you need to access both sides of the rotor and you won't be able to do that with the caliper on. Uh, I like to do it on the bench because then I can uh, also see the inside of the rotor. In here, it gives you the minimum thickness allowable before you need to discard the rotor. You can also find that on resources like Pro Demand or All Data. And it is pretty hard to read on here. Like you're gonna have to probably take a wire brush to the rust in here to actually to actually read that. The tool we'll use for this is a micrometer. And if you don't know how to read a micrometer, I have another video on that that you can go watch. I highly recommend that. So to start, we'll just take our micrometer and we'll back it out far enough that we're wide enough to get over. This is a zero to one inch micrometer. And then when you take the measurement, make sure that you're actually in the middle section of the rotor. You don't wanna to be too close to the edge. That will give you a, a flawed or a skewed reading. Most of the wear is happening in the middle of the rotor anyways. So then hold it there and hold it by this uh, plastic pad that they give you. The heat from your fingers can warp the readings on your, on your micrometer. And then slowly crank it down and use the ratchet stop to come to a complete place right there looks good and then you can read it while it's on or for the video I'm gonna hold it up so you can see what we're looking at here this is zero to one inch so every reading is going to be point something and it looks to me like we're point eight and then after the eight there's the 50 mark showing plus the 11 mm, yep the 11 on the barrel so you got 50 plus 11 which is 61 so our reading so far is point eight six one and then if you look closely, we're not exactly lined up to that 11 mark. We're a little bit past it. So this particular micrometer reads to the fourth decimal by using this scale on the top. So we're just looking for one of these numbers right here to line up with one of the numbers across from it. And it looks to me like I think the one lines up the best. So our reading now is 0 0.8611. So you can compare that to specification. Now to get the, uh, the thickness variation on this thing, we have to do six measurements around, at least six. And so you'll do all six measurements, subtract the highest and the lowest, and then you'll have your thickness variation. And if it's out of specification, you can try machining it or just get new rotors. They've come down in price a lot over the years, so not too bad. And then whatever the lowest of those readings is, is your is your thickness of the rotor and make sure that's not below the minimum specification that we got from right here or from your pro demand or all data or whatever you're using. Okay, so that's how you use a micrometer to measure thickness and thickness variation.